IGA, Identity and Governance Administration or PLUS Administration. How it all began? We need to review all the access for all the users in the company. How can we do this? Well, let's first explain how it was done in the past. First, regardless of whether you have an IDM or not, we need to consolidate all access for everyone in the company in one place, believe it or not at the time this was done in a huge spreadsheet. Then this document was filtered by manager and sent by email for each of the managers to analyze. Each manager will review, or could delegate part of review to subordinates or pairs. But don't forgetting he is responsible for reviewing the accesses of his subordinates too, decide to removing some accesses that are unnecessary and keeping others. After that, he consolidates the response and returns it to the campaign admin. Then the campaign administrator will filter and request the removal of the access as a bulk load, using a ITSM solution or an IDM. As a result, the extraction of a report can be performed, and compared with previous ones for auditing purposes. But all of this is a lot of work, takes a lot of time and generates a lot of stress. How to make easier? Well let's automate and improve this process. Let's call Identity Governance Solution, or just IG. Well first let's collect all the information from users and their accesses. Let's start with IDM, which is the easiest. Then IDM disconnected applications, in which provisioning or deprovisioning is manual, with human interaction. We can also collect using CSV files, which is a simplification of a spreadsheet into delimited text. All of this collected information can be categorized simply into three types. Identities, which are people and their attributes. Accounts, which represent the user used on each system. And permissions, which are the accesses that users can have in each system, such as groups, profiles, roles, etc. The name and complexity of the permission may vary from application to application. Therefore, we have to abstract a model of roles that is not tied to a vendor or application, in addition to being friendly to non-technical users. To automate and facilitate this modeling of roles, role mining algorithms were created that can analyze accesses in a top-down and bottom-up way, suggesting technical and functional roles based on common accesses and common information, such as job position, location, department, and other user information. Furthermore, if you have already carried out a previous load, it is possible to use algorithms to find inconsistencies, duplicity, that is, roles with the same users and same accesses. Even roles that were used in the past but are currently empty. All that allows you to select in a single identity, and have complete view, from different perspectives. Viewing all its accesses, data and history. If you expand the view in graphs and reports that can be parameterized, adjusted and customized as needed. With this you can meet audit and compliance requirements. Now with all the information, you can create policies or rules, or even create scenarios to identify so DS in more complex ways than the traditional ones. This makes it easier to identify access conflicts or potential fraud. It is also possible to proactively identify and calculate which users represent more risk for the company. Now, a campaign review can start scheduled from time to time or it can be triggered by a policy, rule, an SOD, risk-based or simply when a user changes an attribute like job position, area, or department, you can have a micro-certification, or certification of a single user. All this in an automated way. But now instead of gigantic spreadsheets from side to side, you have a dynamic web interface that only shows the scope of each manager. He can still adjust and filter in the way he finds most convenient, without fear of changing a document, like a spreadsheet. In addition, the tool provides means of partially delegating the scope to another person, or changing the responsible for the review according to the reality of the area or department. Farther, AI tools were included to help the reviewer make a decision based on history, providing statistical data and comparisons, as well as technical details about the access that can help in the decision to keep or remove each access. During the campaign the review administrator only needs to track and review the progress of the campaign. The tool itself consolidates and, at the end, starts the removal task, that's called fulfillment, that can be automatically with the IDM, generating a bulk text file for removal or even automatically opening a ticket in the ITSM tool for each removal, to also meet the manual provisioning tools. But fulfillment is not only synchronization, because in the next permission collection it validates whether accesses were actually removed. If still present, the solution creates a violation for each access that can be handled manually or automatically. Until integrity is established, so that no discrepancies exist without the knowledge of governance administrators. Note that the tool can now do much more than review campaigns. Let's go to another possible scenario. 
to compare the access of two or more people. Select and place in a shopping cart, like on a shopping website, and this starts one or more workflows. With forms that can be customized, notifications that can be sent, and APIs from other applications that can be consumed during the flow. Therefore, the action is not only to remove hits in the review campaigns, but to provide means of visualization, also request and receive new accesses. Note that this capability is described in the access request of the identity life cycle. In the move we can start micro certifications, SOD capabilities have been extended, joiner and lever can be configured as policies or rules. Remembering that the IDM is linked to the IG automates provisioning and deprovisioning. So the IG combined with IDM, it can serve not only the identity life cycle, but provide additional administration and management capabilities. For this reason the combination IDM and IG is called IGA or IG plus A.